AXI Kane CEO and founder Linda Woodford said the transport to work was a little different on Thursday, as she posted a series of pictures from Batman Park in Melbourne, where she boarded the doomed helicopter, which crashed at Mount Disappointment. A tech entrepreneur, who was one of five people, in a helicopter crash at Victoria's Mount Disappointment tragically shared photos on the chopper ahead of the doomed journey. AXI Kane CEO and founder Linda Woodford was this week identified as the 50-year-old Inverloch woman who in the crash near Blair's hut on Thursday morning. Her friend of 25 years Martin Gibson paid tribute to the hard-working businesswoman in a Facebook post on Friday, where he revealed the tech boss had posted pictures from the helicopter before her. It was yet another proud moment for me, having watched her build a fantastic, innovative and world-leading blockchain company, he wrote. Stream more local news live and on demand with Flash. 25 plus news channels in one place. New to Flash. Try one month free. Offer ends the 31st of October 2022. Police roadblock on Mount Disappointment Road on Saturday as officers assist with the ATSB investigation and recovery effort. Picture, Jason Edwards. Sadly, her flight ended in a crash into Mount Disappointment in Victoria, and it claimed the lives of all five people on board, including Linda's. Such a beautiful, fun-loving and genuinely compassionate soul, such a loss, and such a shame for this to happen just as all her hard work was really paying off. AXI Kane CEO and founder Linda Woodford was this week identified as the 50-year-old envelope woman who in the crash. Picture, Facebook, Ms. Woodford posted a series of pictures from Batman Park in Melbourne, where she boarded the aircraft on Thursday morning, including an image of her wearing a headset inside the chopper. The transport to work today, a little different, she wrote alongside the photos. AXI Kane confirmed in a statement on Friday Ms. Woodford and AXI Kane finance consultant Ian Perry were among the victims of Thursday's helicopter crash. The pair were travelling to rural Victoria to visit clients when the chopper came down. Linda was a driven visionary and an eternal optimist and will be deeply missed by all that knew her, the statement read. Ian was a respected member of the agricultural industry and a committed family man and will be sorely missed by all that knew him. Our thoughts and deepest sympathies are with Linda and Ian's families at this difficult time. Our thoughts and sincere condolences are also with the families of the three other valued friends and colleagues that were on board the flight. Dean Neal, 32, has been named as the pilot who was involved in the Mount Disappointment helicopter tragedy. Picture, Instagram. The pilot involved in the crash has been identified as 32-year-old Dean Neal, who was remembered as a remarkable son, brother, friend and pilot. Chairman of Radford's in Warrigal Paul Troja, 73, was named as the first victim of the accident. Victoria Police said the chartered chopper took off from Moorabin Airport before picking up the passengers in Batman Park, Melbourne at about 7 a.m. on Thursday. The aircraft was travelling to Ulupna, in northern Victoria, but failed to make its destination, crashing near Blair's Hut, about 80 kilometres north of Melbourne, and in all five people on board. Police Air Wing found the wreckage at about 11.45 a.m., but struggled to access the scene due to difficult terrain. The helicopter was one of two choppers en route to Ulupna on Thursday morning. There was two helicopters, they were chartered out of Murabin this morning. Each helicopter had one pilot, they picked up four passengers each at Batman Park in Melbourne, and then they were flying to Ulupna Island, Acting Inspector Josh Langelan said. One helicopter has landed safely and the other one unfortunately didn't make it. The exact cause of the crash is yet to be determined and is being investigated by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau.